I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the divergence and integral tests. In problem number 45, we'd like to answer the question, what does the series, and you can see we've got kind of a complicated series here. Uh, it's the series from k going from 0 to infinity of 3 times 2 fifths to the k minus 2 times 5 sevenths to the k. What does that converge to? And so what I want to do here is I want to use some properties of summations to break this thing down into something I can work with a little easier. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize that I have the sum of so something minus something. So this is all just one big sum. So I can break this into two sums, the sum of the first thing uh, plus the sum of the second thing. All right, so let's do that first. So I'm going to rewrite this sum this way. This is equal to the sum k going from 0 to infinity of 3 times 2 fifths to the k plus the sum k going from 0 to infinity of negative 2 times 5 sevenths to the k. All right. So I just broke this up over the addition. So it's the sum of the first thing plus the sum of the second thing. Second thing I'll notice is I have a sum of a bunch of things that all have a factor of 3, and I have a sum of a bunch of things that all have a factor of negative 2. So, so to speak, I can factor out the 3 and factor out the negative 2. In other words, 3 can move through a summation, the minus 2 can move through the summation, and we can move a constant through a sum. So I could rewrite this as 3 sum k going from 0 to infinity of 2 fifths raised to the k minus 2 times the sum k going from 0 to infinity of 5 sevenths raised to the k. All right, this is a lot better. I have 3 times this sum minus 2 times this sum. But the next thing I recognize is, oh, wait a second, this sum is just a geometric series. Okay, this is a geometric series. In fact, this is also a geometric series. If I plugged in k equals 0, I get 1. And then every term after that, I multiply by an additional 2 fifths. So this is a geometric series with a equals 1 and r is equal to 2 fifths. Similar, over here, I have a geometric series with a is equal to 1 and r is equal to 5 sevenths. So, since both of the r's absolute value are less than 1, both of those sums converge, and we even know what they converge to. I get 3 times, remember when I have a geometric series that converges, it converges to a over 1 minus r. So I get a, which is 1, over 1 minus r, which is 2 fifths. So that's what that geometric series will converge to. Minus 2 times uh, whatever this guy converges to, but we know what that is. It's a over 1 minus r. a is 1. And then I get 1 minus r, which is 5 sevenths. So let's uh, put this all together. We get 3 times. Let's see what we got here. This is 1 minus 2 fifths. 1 minus 2 fifths is 3 fifths. So I have 1 over 3 fifths. 1 over 3 fifths is the same as 5 thirds. minus 2 times 1 over 1 minus 5 sevenths. 1 minus 5 sevenths is 2 sevenths, and 1 over 2 sevenths is 7 halves. 
Now notice I have a three and a three, they cancel. I have a two and a two, they cancel. And what I'm left with is five minus seven, which is negative two. So uh, this big series right here, just by breaking it down into smaller and smaller pieces until I see that I'm just dealing with geometric series, I'm able to sum this thing up and I see it sums up to negative two.